you don't know what the original intro was unless you see behind the scenes footage, so pfft on you. Please do not plug your channel on my channel. <laughs> <laughs>
Tequila. Yeah. I did not know there was a... Pretty fun. Did they make it just for this, or has this been around for like a long time? Your guess is as good as mine. Wow. This gave me... Uh, remember those series of films we watched about the... the I think it was erectile dysfunction, or the this, the one with the semen. Impotence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, uh, there was like three three of them, right? Like it was Donor. Like, uh, Vicky Donor. Vicky Donor. Uh, yeah. And then uh, there was like three of them. Right? Yeah, there was another one with the family, and the family's trying to get them to copy. Oh, Badaiho? Yeah, it was a Badaiho. I don't remember. It gave me that kind of vibe, though. Yeah. Uh, a, a very, like, they're taking a, a, it's a taboo subject, really. You don't really... People don't talk about well, the baldness act. No, really and I, I here's the thing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't get... Uh, it's really hard for me to comprehend a film mm -hmm. whose subject matter is on male baldness and the guys... I mean, I understand it is, a, it is like a lot of guys are deeply affected by it, especially I know guys who started going bald when they were in their early 20s. Yeah. Same thing with Premature Graying. And I, mean, I understand a, a thick, a yeah, a thick head of hair is you know, like the stereotype of sexiness, but... I I know a lot of dudes who have who are balding mm -hmm. or totally bald. Dudes are sexy, man. Yeah. And did you all know that one of the culprits that contributes to balding in men is high testosterone? So like the very dudes that are afraid it's a kick against their masculinity, those dudes are actually quite freaking full of testosterone because that's a contributing factor to hair loss. Yeah. There's many factors. And I get it, but I just, the whole idea of a premise of a film, I'm hoping there's well, more to it. Well, like, I it's like, don't be so shallow as to make your whole identity on your appearance. I'm assuming that's what it is. Me too. Similar to those other ones, because a lot of those other ones, I, I don't know how they can make a whole film about exactly. this function. But right. from what we heard, those are really funny, yeah. really good films. So right. I'm assuming this, and Yushman, from what we've seen, picks really unique yeah. things. So I don't think he would just do something just for like, because no, I hope it's this. It reminds me of a film that, when at first glance, the idea of this film, you're like, okay, great, it's just going to be stupid and ridiculous, funny. But then after you've watched it, you realize, wow, what a beautiful message this film actually has. Yeah. And that's the Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Forty Year Old Virgin looks like it's just going to be the stupid sex movie about this guy losing his virginity with his buddies and all the campy, ridiculous things that can happen. But what you discover as you're watching it, if you haven't seen it, you should see that Steve Carell movie. It's not only screaming funny, but it's actually got a really beautiful, sweet message. And my hope is this will be this guy goes through this transformation of recognizing his identity was wrapped up in his hair, and then he lost it, and then he gets it back, and he's thinking he's going to get true love that way and discovers that a woman who really loves him is going to love him for more than just his physical appearance. He's going to love him for who he is inside. Uh, well, so, I, I'd assume it would have more of that vibe, because the yeah. director is Amira Kaushik. Oh yeah, he did do Shri, yeah. and so and go go and go go gone. He didn't direct Go Go Gone, but he was part of it. Part of it, okay. Um, but people love Shri. Yeah, and they say that it was a nice. hilarious comedy, but it's also it was like a really good film uh, yeah. as well. So I'm I'm assuming it could, if it can follow the the Badaiho slash the Vicky Donner yeah. type vibes of a unique concept, but obviously there's a lot more to it than right. just. Yeah, and just making fun of baldness. Exactly. I, I can't imagine that's what it's going to be, which is why I would be interested in seeing it. Because I think if it has a that message in the end and encourages guys and girls who, who, who like, like yeah. who likes make the assumption if you're bald, you're not attractive. Yeah. But let's obliterate those stereotypes in people. Is, in, in Indian culture, is uh, is baldness like a, a did people lose their hair? Because there's certain cultures yeah, like big lose time. their hair a lot. Like oh yeah, Jews. Yeah, notoriously, the notoriously uh, are hairy bodied people who lose their hair on top. Uh, it happens a lot with Italians too. Uh, you're... <laughs> and I'm Italian too. I'm actually, uh, my dad was bald in his 20s. Yeah, that's strange. He was like Jack Nicholson bald. Yeah, a good head of hair for, uh, for a 50 year old, 50 -year -old dude. Jew. 50 year old Italian. Jewish Italian, <laughs> yeah. So, but the, the other thing at the beginning, unrelated to the baldness, did you notice he was talking about the ads? Oh, yeah. I have learned recently. There is an entire industry with advertisements and papers and companies that you can go to specifically for arranged marriages where you could, with she who shall not be named, when your son is older, uh, let's frame it because the person who told me this told me this in the context of a daughter. So, uh -huh. right? so you could go to one of these places and talk to the person behind the counter and say, okay, we would like to have a young man who's this old has this background, comes from this family, is this and is that, and they will look for the proper match for you and you pay them for the arrangement. Strange. 
Strange. That but, is, but I mean, so like outside. Really. Yeah, which I bring it up because at the very beginning he's talking about that just happenstance because that is just well, yeah, there's normative. A, there's a lot of arranged marriage in yeah Indian culture. Yeah, uh, but I didn't even. I had no idea that like there's actual you can there's publications like yeah. magazines about. I, I'd assume that's not the norm, uh, but obviously it does happen. Um, but yeah, this looks this, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm majorly interested just because of Yushman yeah. and then the, the director as well, because we've heard so many good things about Street. We'll, we're definitely going to be watching it. Don't worry. Yeah, it's a big draw. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Yushman's Yushman, a big draw because uh, he's just so unique. I just don't think he would pick. That's why I'm thinking like, I, I'm not really worried that it's just on the surface level, just no. baldness. Ha ha ha. Funny, funny, funny. Right. That, cause I, I, he doesn't strike me as that type of guy who would just do that type of film. Me too. Right. Yep. I don't know. Yep. You let us know what you thought of it, uh, and let us know what we're missing because I'm sure there's. No, oh, I'm distracted. I see you. You in, see me. In Thanks. Now I distract people with my face. Right there. I've never. Ha that's never happened before. I don't like it. Please don't look at me. <laughs>